two videos ago, you guys really let me know that you are over, absolutely over, hearing so much of the Sword and Shield hype. So we got some more Scarlet and Violet stuff coming for you right now, sealed and singles. Let's get into it. So first off, obviously the booster boxes, Scarlet and Violet, this is the base set. You guys can say whatever you want, but people said whatever they wanted about uh, Sword and Shield, Sword and Shield base set. And what you guys need to remember is that the MSRP for these boxes is 163. Okay, keep that in mind. That number is going to come up again in a second. I'm going to show you why that's important. These can be had at Forge and Fire, a reputable, uh, you know, reseller for $90 a box. Okay. You can pick this up on eBay right now for $538 for a sealed case. Now, if that seems like a lot now, I promise you in two to three years, that is going to seem really cheap because it is. This is so far below MSRP. Also, this is the new set that's not even out. Twilight Masquerade. Personally, I, you know, I, I'm not super hyped on this set, but just sort of like all sets, $90 a box. MSRP is 163 okay? Then... Same thing, this is a different website. I'm not um, as sure about uh, this website, the collector store, but they do have some reviews, so I think you're okay. $90 for Paradox Rift. I don't think you can go wrong. Once again, MSRP, 163 On eBay, you get a Paradox Rift uh, sealed booster case of six, five sixty. This is going to be... Two, this is the two to three years down the road play, right, guys? Okay. And let me show you why this is important. If you're getting these boxes at $90 and you're selling them for $163, which is just waiting for the MSRP to hit MSRP, you're making $73 profit, which is 44%. No, this does not include fees and shipping and all that. Okay. So keep that in mind. But 44% just to get to MSRP. So you can, you can sell that at MSRP. And usually once it hits that price, it goes up faster. So keep that in mind. Uh, next, we're going to talk about some singles. Now, most of these are under $5. I think this is the only one that's over $5. These singles, I'm just looking at from the perspective of if, I, if I'm if taking it away from the set, like what do I think this card's worth? So Yveltal as like a legendary cool Pokemon. Um... The artwork on this at 850, um, you can see some sold less than that. We got eight and 597, and then this one sold for more like 12. But just the artwork on this really caught my eye. Um, I'm sure in person it looks a lot better when it's shiny. Um, so I look at this card and I could see this being way over $8. Okay, I could see this being, mm, I could see this doubling. I mean, that might be. The time frame for that, I'm not positive, but I could see this being a $15 card looking at it. And if you just look at it from that perspective, um, totally possible. Um, at least like a $12 card, somewhere in that range. But um, so yeah, this is one that stuck out to me. Um, this is from Paradox Rift. Another one from Paradox Rift, Toad Scroll. Just looking at the artwork again, so away from the price, you look at this card. Oh, sorry, I apologize. This one. Oh, no, no. This one's at $5. Okay. Um, this I like, I like the artwork of this card. I don't think the Pokemon's, like, the super, like, the coolest, but I really like the vibe of this, like, forest that they're in, and there's, like, little ones up here. I, I like the I like this card a lot. Um, one of the last solds was 244 but it looks like this is around 750 but market shows it at, you know, at 447 So, um, there are some... Let's see. If we scroll down here... Um, near mint three bucks with good with a lot of sales so three bucks three bucks so this can be had for less than this price um, I could same thing I could see this being a ten twelve dollar card and you can get it now for three so just going off artwork next up another one from paradox rift cyclozar um, heavily featured in the in the video game um, like as a mount that you can ride um, and I think this is uh, kind of like on the adorable side, uh, but two forty six, two dollars, dollar seventy five. 
let's just call it two dollars um i don't know if this if i just look at this and i say ten dollar card but i definitely think five five and up so it's kind of just how i'm approaching this is just just taking a look at it so that'd be doubling your money if you're over doubling if you're getting it at two dollars keep that in mind um let's see next up is blitzel another paradox rift uh look at the artwork he's got that i think this is the evolution in the background here love this artwork this is a great looking card like are you guys kidding me uh well price wise um market says 380 but these look like they're closer to around three bucks and you can pick up a near near mint three bucks three bucks oh that's japanese but this one's three bucks three three looking at this card i don't see why this couldn't be uh seven eight dollars anywhere in that range um even even ten um once again this isn't i'm not saying that this is 100 percent going to happen i'm just saying look at the artwork of the card okay try and get ahead of the curve here next up popular pokemon gen 1 arbok i actually really like this artwork i like the upside down um this one is uh i think a bit more popular obviously um but you can still have this for three bucks four bucks right see it right here four bucks all day long for a really nice looking gen 1 pokemon um this is from temporal temporal forces so newer set um and this also could be a grading play because if you look at last solds on ebay for psa 10 uh i'm not sure if it's hard to grade or not not really positive haven't haven't checked pop report but if you have a gradable copy consider 150 100 bucks for a four dollar card so that's that's a play right there um this might be this might be maybe potentially like the most uh upside for a starter final evolution um i love this card i'm gonna be buying this card this is from temporal forces which is another set that i am not the highest on um if you watch some of my other videos um temporal forces twilight masquerade and then i can't remember the newest one that they, they just announced not really a, i'm not really a big fan so far but this card final evolution of a starter you got meryl two merrills in here i like this artwork you got the starly um flying one uh two just sold for a dollar seventy we'll just call it like two two dollars and fifty cents whatever you want to call it right this is a great looking card same thing now this card i could see being a ten dollar card at potentially I could even go could even go higher um but if you're getting this at two bucks and you can sell at 10 you're five xing your money so uh just another just another play for you guys um or you don't even have to be an investor just if you're if you're collecting uh pokemon cards and you know you don't if, if you haven't picked up this card and you think you're gonna try and uh complete temporal forces some of these cards you might want to pick up now so um yeah this is this is a there's tons of these cards out there that are underrated and also you never know uh like who who's gonna who's gonna say something like the poker rev thing you know you never know somebody says something about a card it could just take off you never know so um the grotto sleeper card i think it's i think it's a great looking card that's gonna do it for this one guys um once again i uh got you another another uh, scarlet and violet based video i'm happy to do these happy to i'm with you guys i don't want to i tried not to only do sword and shield anyways i was trying to vary uh but i think uh i think that this this was a fun video to make let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think and that's gonna do it for this one uh thank you so much for watching and as always i'll catch you guys in the next one and remember it was never a phase